Hi guys, sorry, I'm really having trouble staying online today, so this is gonna be a segment of video. So anyway, let me finish with the Info Ohio. Um, it's a great resource under the parents, and you can click on here, and what it will do, it will give you other websites that you can use as resources. Bookflix has a read-along section that you can use. Um, there's draw and tell. There's all kind of really neat things. So if you are looking for something pretty educational, check out infoohio.org, and um, they'll have a lot of things that you could use to be successful with that. So let me go to the next one. Uh, Old Farmer's Almanac, and I think most of you have heard of uh, the Farmer's Almanac, but they have an Old Farmer's Almanac for kids, and I thought it was a pretty neat website because it's got daily things that they can relate to. So here is what it looks like, and they have things about the night sky, jokes and fun, time travel, animal lovers, weather watch, and they have things about the full moon and so that's it's kind of fun for kids to learn some of these things they can look up what it looks like with the full moon and the dates and times and and so there's a lot of kind of current things that they can look at on here there's fun things like time travel animal tracks so this will be a good one just for something totally different than what you're used to looking at and maybe a little bit older kids uh, to get some information that would be fun for them to use. The next one, this one is one I had never heard of before, but it's a really cool little website that's kind of a hidden gem and it's called Toy Theater. And what it has is like standalone little types of uh, links to things. So let me bring that up and show you what it looks like. So when it comes up, it, it looks like this. And there's a lot of boxes and you can use build animate symmetry doodle there's things based on math reading art music science and a game so if you have one you have a child that likes to use if you have a child that likes to use something like um like building kind of reminds me a little bit of minecraft they have this one that you can do different things to build so you can choose so say you want to build certain things what you have to do is you can just drag that click and drag those boxes and then if you go over here you can choose what you want to build say you want to build a person or something it will give you other things that you can choose as far as shapes and stuff to make something else so it reminds me a little bit of that but it's kind of Mine's a little bit of Legos too, but you can build stuff and then you can undo it or, or get rid of it when you're done. So there's a lot of things built into this. There's math, you can do reading, and it and even has it by grade. It'll, it'll give you the things that you need by the age. So um, it's kind of a nice little standalone game that most people don't know about or have seen. So check that one out if you get a chance. It's called, it's called Toy Theater. Now, the next one that I want to show you is NASA Space Place. This is a really cool place for games, videos, and crafts. Um, and it, it's real interactive um, in, in um, space-based. So let me bring that up so you can check it out. Okay, so Space Place, this is what it looks like. This is for a little bit older kids. They have activities, games, crafts, videos, all of that down on the bottom. Um, so if you bring that up, it will show you, you know, whatever you're looking for, and it'll explain how you can play different games. So check that one out. If you like, have someone that likes science or maybe wants to see more about Earth or, or learn things that way, this is a great web, website for those kind of resources. And it's put out by NASA, so it's, it's a pretty good program. Another one, this is one of my favorites. This is for my Code Club kids. Um, these are some of the these are some of the things that I use for Code Club, and these are my favorite websites, actually. So 
let me show you what what they look like. Okay, sorry. It's really glitching out today. <laughs> okay, here's one of the first ones. This is called Tinker. And Tinker is one of my favorite ones because there's a lot of things that you can do on here for free. You don't have to have any kind of subscription to do it. I mean, there are some out there but this is a great way to start kids coding. Um, it's all drag and drop and play. You see here you have our code is probably the best place for people to start. So when you come on here, they have all kind of coding puzzles and games that you can use. And it explains what, what they look like. So let me just bring up Space Quest so you can see what it looks like. You got this cute little character here. Um, then you can choose which one you want to use. And you can see at the top here, it's all story based. So you can see what that looks like. So my next one I want to show you is code.org. And Code is a really great learning one too. It also has an hour of code, which is a great place to start. And when you go to the website, it looks like this. You don't have to have an account, um, but it's a great place to start drag and drop. So if you go to learn, um, you can create an account if you want, but it's not necessary. And it's broke down by age groups right here. And then if you click learn more, um, you can determine which course you want to do. And like I said, these are all free. They're, and it will tell you exactly what you're going to learn as sequencing and loops and events. And this is these are great precursor events for kids to learn how to code. There are also projects here that you can do. There's a game lab, an app lab, an artistry lab, and sprite lab. And these are all free. And you can go in there. It does walk you through the steps of what you're going to do. And so it says draw something, um, code it, click OK, and then you're going to do whatever it tells you to do. So it's kind of cool because it tells you what to do and it also gives you hints. So if you get stuck, then you know what to do. And the next one I'm going to show you is Scratch. And this is another one that I use with my Cub Club. And it's a pretty fun one to use because there's so many uh, spin-offs that you can use with it. And this is what it looks like. Um, this is Scratch. And it's real easy to start. Just click Start Creating. And then it will give you this sample pro project. And you can see over here what it looks like to drag and drop the things. Now you're looking at it going, oh, that looks crazy. I'm not sure. Right here is a video. You watch the video, you do exactly what it says. You can drag and drop it over there and then make it come out the way you want. There are tutorials built into Scratch. They're very easy to use. You can watch the tutorials to make some different things. So that's pretty cool too. So um, check that out if you get a chance. One other one, the last one that I want to show you is um, this is a nice option for children. If you have kids that are on the internet or young kids that you want filtered content out from them, I would suggest using YouTube Kids. That way you don't have to worry about them seeing or hearing something inappropriate that you did not want them to see or hear. Um, it has a built-in timer also. So if you want to limit screen time, say, hey, I only want you on there for half an hour, you can put a timer on it that will limit their screen time. There are a lot of great parent resources on this page and it can be watched on the app. So let me um, pull this up for you so you can see what it looks like. So if you just type in your browser, YouTube Kids, this is what you'll get. It is an app you can download as an app or you can watch it now, this watch now button um, right on your computer. So you could do it either way. It gives you a nice, safer experience. If you click down through this, it has really great frequently asked questions. There are parent resources, and it'll tell you where to find family-friendly videos, too. So this is a, a great thing that YouTube has put out. It's help, it's 
put in mind to help kids um, have have a safe way of using YouTube or watching watching videos on YouTube. So I would suggest if you have younger children and you are going to use YouTube for resources that you use YouTube Kids and set up that account so they can use it safely. Now, I know uh, that part of this video started and then this is the second half and I apologize, I'll make sure both are posted so that everyone can have these resources. If you have any questions, send me a message. Make sure to join me every Tuesday and Thursday for these live sessions. Um, you never know what's going to happen when it's live. So I want to thank you, the Guiding Ohio Online Grant, for allowing us to be able to put these on for you. Um, so hope to see you soon. Hope everyone is well. Uh, have a good afternoon.